Hello again, everyone. It's Matt. And Chels. Today's Patreon request was brought to us by Losin. Today, we are checking out Rammstein's Zastoren. God, I hope I said that right, because... You practiced about 30 times. I did. I did. Thank you. You're, I'm sorry. Called you out on that. The official video link is down below. Our links are down there as well. And please don't forget to... Like and dis... dis <laughs> I almost said destroy. Like and subscribe. Because I had it on my mind that that actually means destroy. Oh. Yes. I thought it was because I made you angry. No. No. But funny thing is, is we read the lyrics ahead of time, found out uh, that the song, well, it didn't find out. It seemed like the song was about someone who just likes to destroy things just for the fun of it. Set the world ablaze. Yeah. Because some people, uh, some people... I'm just going to fucking stop talking. Are you going to finish your sentence? Like to watch the world burn. They do. Let's do it. <laughs> this is a multi-cam, multi-cam tour video from 2016. I don't know that I'm, I'm familiar with this I'm song. I'm fucking done. We're not. We don't know this song. You say that. I've been listening to Rammstein on my own. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. i got to get caught up before September. Fair. I think that there's some really close to the video. Ask what he's wearing? Mm -hmm. I think he's in character as the little boy that likes to destroy things. Oh, but it looks boxy underneath what he's wearing. It looks like he's got like pillows under there and stuff to make himself mm. look plump. Okay. Yes.
Interesting transition, I like that. First of all, I wanted to start off with the beginning of this video, the way it was edited more towards like the 2000, you know, one 9-11 bombings and George W. Bush destroying, you know, things. It, it, well, it kind of went both ways with the Taliban destroying here, but then there were the bombings over there. And I don't know if this had anything whatsoever to do with that. But the fact that Till had the bomb mm -hmm. underneath kind of alludes to the fact that it did. Man, that was a powerful message with that song. I love the driving beat of the drums. That was my favorite part. I like that part too. Uh, after the chant there in the beginning. And that the chant never stopped. I like that that went throughout the whole song as well. Uh, I, I'm interested in listening to a studio recording of this. That was that was really good. I give that a 11 out of 10. This is a song that I do not think I'm familiar with. I've been um, curious about it. But now that. I want to be familiar with it. I really liked it too. And yeah, the drums, the riff was just, it was all, I love the, the chugginess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the way it started off with Paul and then Richard coming in and joining in with the, ooh, yes. yeah. So good. Um, I loved how this was heavier, but then also there were the more melodic sides of Till's voice too, and I'm going to give this a 11 out of 10. We also had a piano mm. in there, you know? It was wonderful. It was an outstanding song, but now I feel like I need to dive further into the meaning behind. Thank you, Losin. Thank you, Losin. Thank you to everyone that watched this reaction, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>